Well, we're stuck behind snow clearing uh, trucks again, but I can't complain. The road is cleared and otherwise slippery. So uh, thanks to those guys, even though I got to slow down, I appreciate their effort. Guys, we are pulling into White River, population 1,000, claim to fame, the home of Winnie the Pooh. It looks very small here. I see there's an N W, not an S O. Handy for me. Let's fill her up with gas and then go fill our tummies. Here's the Canadian t shirt souvenir section. I don't see any Winnie the Pooh stuff, considering we're at the hometown of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> we do have a Montreal Canadian stoop. <laughs> and Toronto Maple Leafs. I guess we're... Here we go, they do have a Winnie the Pooh section. Oh, there isn't much. Alright guys, I'm not the biggest a and fan, but it's here and it's open. And there sure isn't much else along here on this little stretch, so let's go in there and go for it. Got the Christmas decorations up. Ordered myself a Mama Burger meal with onion rings and an A and W root beer. Mm, there we go. Had to go for those onion rings. You're in frosty. White River. All right, had some yummy onion rings and a burger at NW, and we're still about three hours to Nipigon, where I have a hotel waiting for me. So that is where we are headed next. It's only 20 after five, but it's dark already, and we got three hours to go. I added some more gas. Seeing as the regular gas is expensive anyways, I uh, put in some premium as a little treat for the Forerunner. Seeing as uh, she's been working so hard, have some premium gas there. And off we go to Nipigon. So you can see our convoy here is stretching deep into the night. It really goes down there. There's some kind of crazy lights way up at the front there. I can't tell if it's on a vehicle or not. I feel like we've been following it for a while, so I don't think it is a building, but... Oh, maybe it's a snow clearing vehicle we're all behind. That would make sense. Because I didn't think those big trucks would need to slow down this much. It's not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but... Oh, maybe it is bad. These guys are just pulling over now. Oh, well, not us. Okay, there's the vehicle that was leading. The blue was the snow clearing vehicle. So there goes the snow clearer. Let's see what happens with the speed. Does this mean there's going to be more snow? I don't know. The snow is not deep. We are going a little faster. Instead of 30, we're going 60. So probably a good night to not camp. Glad I already have a motel booked ahead. It's definitely gonna take a little longer to get there, seeing as we're going like one third to one quarter the speed limit. But 
we're not in a big rush. We got podcasts. We're gonna just keep on trucking nice and slow and safe. There's a lot more snow on the road now. As you can see, you can't even see the lines on the road. The road going the other direction, the other lane going the other direction is really buried. No one's really been coming through there to even pack it down or spread it out. At least this side we've got some traffic. All right guys, pulled off in um, something bay. I forget where we are. There's a sign saying there really isn't any services for quite a while. I'm still a couple hours away. Actually, no, just over an hour, hour and a half or so to uh, Nipigon where I'm headed. But uh, this weather's pretty gnarly. We've been making very slow time. And I wanted to just take a break from the driving and grab myself a snack. Got some white chocolate out of the back. Take a breather and get back on that gnarly highway. Now I don't see any other cars up there. I've lost my convoy, which is of some concern. I wanted to stay in the convoy, but uh. All right, guys, check this out at the gas station. This guy just pulled in. Rode his snowmobile right up. <laughs> back on the highway. I was able to find a convoy. Got uh, right behind a big semi truck and uh, he's going a little quicker than the last convoy. We're clipping along at 60 kilometers an hour which feels about right for these conditions. The uh, regular speed limit is 90. It's still slushy and slippery. A lot of blowing snow. Impaired visibility. And it's warmed up to plus one degree. Not that that's helping any. Man, you can feel it sliding, holy. Especially if you like get out of the ruts, at least they hold you a little bit straight. Definitely takes constant attention. There's a lot of snow on the road now. up to the small town of Schrader. Looks like the gas station's closed. Good thing I filled up. At least there's some street lights through here. eight just saw a sign saying 91 kilometers to Nipigon we should be there now but due to the storm 91 kilometers is another hour away at normal speeds but we're lucky to be going half that so that's two hours if we keep cruising through at 45 this big truck was going 60 earlier which suited me fine this 45 just means we're going to be on the road that much longer. So after a couple of hours of winter driving, we are now approaching the Nipigon River Bridge. And it is a beautiful structure. And it also means that just ahead is the city of Nipigon and my motel.
Here we go, Sanctuary by the Highway, the Traveler's Motel. A few travelers stay in here. Oh, office lights are still on. I thought he was going home after he checked me in. Maybe somebody's still arriving. So I got to park here, right in front of my room for easy unloading. Hotel room. Got a TV, we got a fridge. There's that heater plus another baseboard heater. Coffee maker, microwave, and stuff back there. Anyways, nice little place. More beds than I need. But I can't wait to sleep in there tonight. All right, guys, we finally made it. I am at the Nipigon Travelers Motel. Checked in by the uh, nice owner who uh, I think he might have had to wait up for me because I was delayed by over two hours getting here. Um, we were really slowed down by that snowstorm for a while, but luckily this last um, 40 minutes or so, it was wet, but the snow cleared up, so um, we were able to speed up, and I stayed in my convoy with the big semi-truck in front of me the whole time till we got here, so uh, had that buffer of safety. The roads are a little bit squirrely out there, I have to admit, with that slippery slush and uh, snow on the roads, but I uh, hope everyone's safe out there. It's nice to be just in a normal bed in a motel. I can just sit here, veg out, get a good night's sleep, get myself a nice uh, hot shower, chill for the night, and be fresh to get on that highway again tomorrow. And I would not be surprised if there is more snow to be seen on the rest of this trip across Canada. So, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more episodes.